It's football season once again. I'm here with head coach Miguel Regalado. Coach, it's been a fun fall. Now you get to play your first football game. How's the team excited for this one? It's been a long fall camp. We, uh, we came to camp a week early, which don't get me wrong, it was nice to have the uh, extra practice time. Uh, but Truman and I on our way over here, I was just telling him, I think they're just ready to see somebody else, KP. It's, it's just they've been knocking heads with each other for a month now, and they're just ready to go. They're ready to be on Saturday and play somebody else. So they're excited. St. Ambrose, first new to the conference this year. What do you expect to see from them on Saturday? That Offensively, they got a quarterback that presents problems with his athleticism. He extended a lot of plays at Briarcliff last week. And anytime you have a quarterback that can extend plays with his feet, kind of like Truman does with us, they present problems to your defense. Uh, he extended plays, got, uh, got the ball to some athletic receivers, and uh, just kept them in the game, really, by himself. Defensively, they provide a front that we don't see all, all year long with our guys. Our guys are an even man front. They're an odd man front, so that'll present some, some mental things that, that our offense line is going to have to be sharp on. They bring a lot of pressure, and there's pressures from everywhere. And then they're going to get up, and they're going to get in the face of our receivers with some athletic corners and provide some, some problems for our guys getting off the line of scrimmage. So uh, it's a really a good football team. You can tell that they came from a good conference and uh, went out to the GPAC and, and got themselves a win, and they'll be fired up coming in here. We'll talk to one of the key returners, Truman, here next. But you got some key returners. You have some new guys that are going to play. What, what do you expect to see from your team this Saturday and kind of some people that might stand out in the crowd? I expect our offense to start fast. I really do. I, I think a year ago, Truman was just getting his feet set up, settled in at the quarterback position. Uh, he had just moved from defense. He was there, you know, uh, got a summer with Coach Morris and uh, got better as the year went along. I think I'm seeing Truman now starting to make plays from the pocket. He's starting to look like a quarterback. And then when you've got a guy that can play quarterback and then still extends plays with his athleticism, then he becomes really dangerous. Uh, I think the thing that we tried to do this offseason is surround Truman with some weapons, and I think we've done that. Uh, you're going to see some young kids playing out there on Saturday because they can flat out run and they can flat out play. Uh, you know, you've got your old vet guys like Austin Tabor coming back, which is awesome. Uh, but you've got surrounded by him some guys like Adrian Seals and Maverick Becker and, and Gage Warren that can flat out fly. Uh, we've got a stable of backs that we feel can, can all three of them can carry the ball equally. Uh, defensively, we feel when we get healthy on the defensive line, I think we're a little banged up. We're as good as anybody in the conference. And then you've got, you know, Cannon Karn coming back. You've got Kramer coming back. You've got Manoa that's coming on like, like crazy. Um, you're going to see two, I think, talented, talented corners in P.J. McCallop and, and a young man by the name of Cameron Porter out of uh, Gardner. And then you got your two quarterbacks back there with, uh, with uh, Thad Metcalf and Deshaun Lewis. So we feel really good about this group. I expect them to start really fast. And then, obviously, a lot of Baker football alumni that like to come back to games. How special is that for you? Obviously, you've been here as the offensive coordinator before, now back as the head coach. How special is that to be able to be coaching a game and maybe look over and <laughs> see a bunch of alumni standing on the sideline with you? I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be more juiced up than it was even a year ago. And I think a year ago, that Peru State game was was pretty electric. And I think it's going to be even more. We got lucky, it looks like, on Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful day. And I think that place is going to be packed. And I, I, anybody that asks, I say we're going to put on a show. So I expect us to come out and do that. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today, Coach. It's football time. We're back for week one of the football season. See you Saturday at Liston Stadium at 11 a.m.